Using clay, set up your mirror on a piece of, on an index card. That seems to work the best. You want to set it up so it is perpendicular to the surface. Also make sure that the mirror is 30 centimeters from the edge of the table. The rulers have a little extra at the end of the zero and the end of the 30, but for our purposes we're just needing to be close. So we will consider zero being the end of the ruler. The first thing you do is then you take your golf tee and you measure the height of the actual golf tee and the height of the image. The goal of this investigation is to just show students that the image height and the object height remain the same compared to the point of view, which for our purposes will be the mirror. So if we measure the height of the golf tee is approximately 5 centimeters approximately five centimeters. Then if we measure the height of the image, it is approximately five centimeters as well. From the side, the activity looks like this. We set up the mirror so it is 30 centimeters from the edge of the table. You place the golf tee next to the mirror. You measure the height of the actual golf tee. The actual height is approximately five centimeters. And you might need to get down low to the table to align the bottom of the golf tee with the bottom of your ruler and you see it is also five centimeters. Once we find the size of the image and the actual object when they're against the mirror, we then want to find the size of the object and the size of the image as it appears in the mirror from 15 centimeters. So you would put your ruler next to the object in the mirror and then you would go up or down to lower yourself until you align the bottom of the mirror, the image in the mirror, to the bottom of the ruler. You would do that by putting your head up and down here. And at that point, you'd measure how tall the image appeared to be in the mirror. You also notice that the image appears to be behind the mirror, as in 15 centimeters in that direction behind the mirror. Maintain the mirror at 50 at I'm sorry, maintain the mirror 30 centimeters from the edge of the table. Then we put our ruler next to the mirror. We go down low so we can see it. We align the bottom of the golf tee to the bottom of the mirror. And the golf tee image is approximately 3.5 centimeters. We repeat at 30. Again, putting the ruler next to the mirror to find the size of the image of the object in the mirror and it looks as if the object is 30 centimeters behind the mirror. This is important to realize when we do the next part of the activity. We align the golf tee image to the bottom of the ruler. At that point, the image of the golf tee appears to be approximately three centimeters tall. Then we repeat this, but when you look in the mirror, remember, it appears that the golf tee is 30 centimeters behind the mirror and it appears to be smaller. So we'll take the golf tee and begin by putting it first 15 centimeters behind the mirror. Now we move the object until it is 15 centimeters behind the mirror. Then keeping our ruler at the mirror, just as we measured the object, the image in the mirror before, we are now going to be measuring the size of the actual object from the perspective of the mirror. Again, you may need to get higher or lower on the table until you align the bottom of the golf tee to the bottom of your ruler. So it is 15 centimeters actually behind the mirror. In the image, the image appeared to be 15 centimeters behind the mirror. We're actually putting the object now 15 centimeters behind the mirror to see if its image height is the same, its apparent image height is the same as its actual height from the perspective of the mirror. So you might need to squat down below the table, align the bottom of the golf tee to the bottom of the ruler, and you see that the golf tee is approximately 3.5 centimeters tall. You repeat the activity, put it 30 centimeters behind the mirror, you place the ruler, and again, you'll need to get higher or lower on the table so that you can align the bottom of the golf tee. Again, the mirror is 30 centimeters from the table. I align the bottom of the golf tee to the bottom of the mirror, and the golf tee 
object appears to be about three centimeters tall. It also is 30 centimeters behind the mirror. Remember the image, when it was 30 centimeters in front, appeared to be, when you looked at the distance, 30 centimeters behind the mirror. Now we see that the actual height of the object, three centimeters, when it's 30 centimeters behind the mirror, which equals how tall it looked before when we were looking at the image in the mirror, 30 centimeters in front. What we want to show children is that objects in mirrors do not get smaller. They just appear to get smaller because the object looks like it's 30 centimeters behind the mirror. So it doesn't get smaller. If we actually put the object behind the mirror by 30 centimeters, we'll see that the object size appears to be the same size as the image size in the mirror. The distance also remains the same. 15 centimeters in the mirror, and the 15 centimeters in the mirror equals the 15 centimeters. For this activity, have the students place the mirror on the line. They may want to turn it to the side so they can see it. Then once they place it there, then they draw their Im the image they see, they draw in the block here. They want to make it as close as they can to what they actually observe in their image, in the mirror. So you see that line goes almost all the way up to the top, and halfway down you have a line that goes out like that, and then you have a longer line like that. Then the student should observe that this is the opposite or the reverse of that. They also do this by making a two. They put the two table tent on that spot. Then take their mirror, place it on the gray line, and then draw the image that they see in the mirror, which appears to go up like that, like so then they can compare their image to the object that they copied.